we've come to the fourth and final C of high definition home theater control. If you're like me and most people I know, you're tired of having to pick up one remote controller after another just to be able to watch a movie. Can you believe that I can take this pile of home theater remotes down to just this single remote? And that you can control your whole system with the push of just one or two buttons? Believe it or not, it really can be that easy. When you're shopping for home theater, how you're going to control all your new equipment is probably the last thing you think about until the time it comes that you're sitting in front of three or five or even 10 remotes. Can you believe that it was Nikola Tesla that held the first patent on a TV remote control? That was 1893 and TV wasn't even in our homes. The first practical remote control was sold in 1956. It was the Zenith Flashmatic and it was commonly called Lazy Bones. I think today a TV without a remote would be called, are you kidding me? Today, almost every component comes with its own remote and you have to search through a pile on your coffee table trying to remember which buttons to push and in what order. Or maybe you've already figured out how to control your home theater, but the rest of your family is stumped and has to call you just to turn on the news. Do you have to write down instructions for all of the members of your household? There are many remote controls on the market to make it easy for everyone in your family. These can be programmed to control not only your home theater system, but your whole home. These are typically high-end units that require a professional installer to run and can run thousands of dollars. There are also home theater remotes that will replace all of your other remotes so you only have a single remote that controls all of your devices. You'll need to understand how to teach this remote control the commands from the remotes that come with each of the home theater components. When you go to use this home theater remote, you'll push a button to tell it which component you want to control. Like, now it's the TV remote. Now it's the receiver remote. Now it's the satellite receiver remote. While this may solve the problem of your pile of remotes, usually they're still really difficult to program. You can even set this kind of remote so that you can push one button instead of many by recording a series of commands called a macro. This too can be difficult to program as you need to be certain of the sequence of buttons you need to push. And if the macro doesn't work, you better know what you're doing. Today, there are activity-based remotes. To use these remotes, all you need to do is to know the activity that you wanna do, like watch TV, and then you press that button. The remote knows what needs to be turned on and changed and in what sequence. Finally, a remote control that can think for you. Here's the Monster Central AVL300, an example of an activity-based remote control. You connect the remote to a computer, answer a few questions on a website, and it's all downloaded into your remote control, ready for one button use. When I want to watch a movie on my Blu-ray player, I press a button called Watch a Movie, and it does it magically for me. Okay, well, not magically. Actually, the remote is sending out a sequence of commands. It turns on the TV, then turns on the receiver, then turns on the Blu-ray player, then changes the receiver to the Blu-ray's input, then changes the input to the TV, and I've added the option of playing the movie automatically and the volume is set to a certain level. <gasps> Whew, that would be a lot of buttons to remember. So how easy is it? Anyone in the family can do it. In fact, you can program this remote to dim the lights as well. You make the picture on the display really pop. You want to turn down the lights just like they do in a movie theater. The lighting level in your home theater affects how the colors look on your screen. So you don't want your lighting to be too bright and you don't want it to be too dark either. Even lighting control isn't reserved for high-end home theater and professionals anymore. Lighting modules are affordable and easy to install. You can install in-wall dimmers as easily as you can a light switch or you can plug your lamps into this plug-in unit. And again, you program it through your computer. And you can control more than your home theater. It can control your whole house. You can save energy by turning off the lights when you go to bed. Turn on porch lights for security. You can even specify certain lighting scenes to go with your different home theater activities. Lighting scenes allow you to instantly set the perfect lighting mood, dim the lights, and play the movie with a touch of a single button. Imagine what else you could do with a touch of a button. You could create a scene where you press a button labeled party and that you can turn on your receiver to play your music loud and sets up some party mood lighting. How about a button that turns down other lights in the room and turns up the light in your favorite reading chair and then tunes your favorite jazz station for background music and it's just as easy to program as any other activity. Remote controls no longer have to clutter your coffee table or be hard to use and set up. Today, your remotes do all the remote control work for you. Now you know everything that you need for higher definition home theater, the four C's of home theater, components, cables, content, and controls. 
I had the chance to talk with the simple tech guru, Barb Gonzalez, and author of Home Theater Made Simple, who made it easy to understand how to hook up a home theater system. Let's take a look. 